It's 1926 in French Guinea. Scientist Elia Ivanov has traveled to Africa in pursuit of a bone-chilling experiment, creating a human-ape hybrid. His initial trials on female chimps have failed to produce any results, but he has one last gruesome gambit up his sleeve. An emboldened Ivanov returns to the USSR and immediately begins planning. Ivanov's next step is to try to bring the chimps back home. So he ships lots of chimps to this uh, Russian Republic on the Black Sea. Then, while the chimps are en route, Ivanov sets about the most disturbing part of the experiment, finding human female volunteers. Yet despite the grotesque requirements, newfound Soviet patriotism has already laid the groundwork. He's able to convince five women to basically spend a year secluded in abstinence to be artificially inseminated with chimp sperm. Now, Ivanov can only wait for the primate donors to arrive. Unfortunately for him, it's this final step that deals the fatal blow. Most of the apes have died in transit. Now he's got to arrange to get more chimps from Africa. But before he can do that, the social climate kind of turns against him. In December 1930, Ivanov is convicted of creating a counter-revolutionary scientific organization, and he's exiled to the Kazakh Republic, where he has a stroke and dies two years later. In the years since his death, many view the work of Ilya Ivanov as a cautionary tale about the ethical pitfalls of unchecked scientific experimentation. Yet his legacy may be more complex. Ivanov's early work with animal breeding laid the groundwork for the modern science of artificial insemination. It just goes to show that the long and twisted road of scientific progress is paved with both the brilliant and the bizarre, sometimes by the very same man.